everybody, welcome back to another episode of Forestry Friday. We just came in, here's Bear, our forestry pup. We gotta give him some food. There, we fed Bear. He should be happy now, there he is. Look at him. Alright, so we're gonna show you the cheapest ways of wood chipping this week. Now, unfortunately, this little wood chipper, it, it's little. Um, so we're gonna get to show you some other stuff. We got a little, uh, little aggro star here. That's got the little wood chipper on it. He's a hack. It only really takes the tops of the trees, honestly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, uh, we're also gonna show you this other. This is the Fiat 180-90 with the forestry cage. This is one of NMC's trailers, small trailers. It's a pretty neat little trailer. I'm going to show you that in just a minute. We got another AgroStar here with a different type of log grab that's not, uh, this is a modded version. It does some pretty nifty looking things there. We got a little tractor here, another, another Dutz. And it's going to be on our trailer outside. And then we have a different style log grab than last week. Um, and we have it on another little Fiat Winter F series here. <coughs> Again, we're using all these little tractors because they all got forestry cages on them, if you look. They all got different little forestry cages. Um, so one of the first things we're going to do here, we're going to start getting some tractors out here. So, as you can see, this is uh might as well get rid of that map this is a different log grab than what we had on here last week I'll put the credits in obvious oh like I always do I'll put the credits in and this is run just like anything else L1 and right stick R1 right stick both together doesn't do anything actually so R1 and right stick just closes your grab left and right opens and closes and then all the rest of your controls with your arms is done with L1 and the right stick so what we're gonna do right here and now we're just gonna use this guy to bring us over here knock down a tree Knock down a tree. We're going to cut a piece off, a couple pieces off. Alright, so that should be all the, oh, almost all the branches off. Now, where did I cut? Uh oh, oh, that's what the tractor's for. Because these butt ends are going to be just too big to go in the wood chipper. We're going to use this tractor to just set them aside. That's how you do that one. It uh, it doesn't grab quite the same as the rest. I don't find. But it does work fairly well. We're just going to drop this right here. And we're going to get out and cut our next one. Uh, 
And we're probably going to cut one more right here. Now the rest of that should all fit in that little wood chipper. I'm telling you, it's small. But it is the cheapest wood chipper in the game. So, when you're going for cheap, this is going to be your best option. It's going to be this little one. Now, I cut that guy quite long, I think. I don't know if that little crane I got on that tra trailer is going to lift it up. And MC does surprisingly good with their mods. Um... But I have never used this little trailer, so I just don't know. Well, maybe the weight on the back of this was a bit overkill, but uh, you know, it's just for the idea to show you. You always should have a weight on the back when you're logging with a tractor or even a telehandler. All right, so we got a couple of logs that are going to go on that trailer because that trailer actually does something pretty nifty. So these long logs aren't going to be an issue for the trailer. I'm just wondering if they're going to be an issue for the crane. Now, one other little thing we're going to go and get you and show you. We're going to take this guy back over. Oh, I did. I did. Here, let's take this and hook it on the trailer for the wood chipper. This little trailer is just the base in game trailer. And open the cover up. We're going to park it right here. We're going to go get this little red guy here. Now myself, personally, I like the idea of this log grapple that is on the back here. I find sometimes this one does glitch a bit. It doesn't quite work right sometimes. I don't know if it's just me not doing it right or what, but. So, this works just the same as the rest of it does. Oh, except for it'll turn side to side and open up and. L1, R1, L1, right stick. L1, right stick. R1, right stick. This turns this this way. That's what makes it different than the other log grab. And then up and down to close. Also makes it very difficult sometimes. We'll do it from in here. Hey. And lift up. And what we're actually going to do here is we're just going to drop it. Oh. Actually, want to drop it this way. Drop it right there. And go get the star of our show today. So this is a little log grab. It does work good if it's just you want to try something different. So 
It's also a pretty cheap little mod too. Okay, now we're gonna go park this thing over here. And uh, I think we gotta do it this way here. Yeah, you got a L1 and down on the D pad, puts out the pipe. You gotta make sure you're close enough to the trailer that the pipe will hit it. Also, make sure that whatever trailer you pick will register wood chips. Some trailers don't. Um, now we also have to unfold L1 and X. You get a little tipper thing there on that. That's L1 and right stick up and down. You see it flapping the the chute. And oh, look at that! You can even turn that one. It auto resets, obviously, but uh, yeah, you can you can do that. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Just learned something new myself today. Okay, so we're gonna turn this wood chipper on. L1, square. Okay. Now we're gonna take. Now that little chipper too, by the way, is only like twenty-three thousand dollars or something like that. That's why I'm telling you, it's the cheapest one there is in the game. Um, the next cheapest one is, jeez, I think something like sixty thousand, and that's the big uh, black sheep modding. T-Rex, I don't remember the numbers on it, but it's the big flat one that goes with the IT runner. Um, might even have to cut this a little smaller. I guess we're going to have to. Okay, so I guess you gotta cut the pieces awfully small. Um, pick them up there just right and shove them in the side. This isn't like the other bigger wood chips where you can use a, a wheel loader or even a crane on one to, to pick one up. So, that's how that works, guys. It's just the smallest, cheapest wood chipper there is. You can chip it all by hand, but hey. If it makes you the money in the beginning, it's fun. And it's a little different. If you wanna if you're used to running forestry and doing all the big stuff and I don't know, maybe it's a, it's a little different to come back to the small ways. I am gonna cut that again because that is just gonna drive me nuts. You know what else is driving me nuts? Having two chainsaws. Everybody knows you got three or four selections of chainsaws in here. There, now I only have one to circle through. Alright, now... That's a bit annoying, as you guys can tell. That is definitely a bit annoying. Oh my... So maybe just set it up on there and just chop the hell out of it with this with the chainsaw, cause if not, it could prove to be a pain. Um, I'd like to know what this little bit here is gonna bring us for wood chips. To tell you the truth, I'm kind of curious. It was just the top half of one tree. And that is mulching it, but I don't see it giving us anything, so. What'd that give us? Yeah, 1,724 wood chips. I mean, it's going to take a long time, but, you know, small is the game on this one. Now, what we'll do is we're going to shut down this little wood chipper, and we're going to show you that other trailer I showed you, told you about. This is a little one done by NMC. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was uh, T-Bone actually made it. Uh... Morana? Morana? Might be saying it wrong. 
But I do know it was T-Bone from NMC that made it. That is one part I can say is for sure clear. Now, the one thing about this old trailer is up in the help box there. If you see, it says control group crane 1. So, that tells you it does more than just one thing. Now, obviously, crane 1, that's going to be moving your crane. These cra this crane moves the pretty well the exact way every other crane in the game moves. L1, R1, L1, right stick, R1, right stick does all your stuff. So L1, right stick, up and down, swing and swing, right stick, up and down. Oh, we might as well get that right over here. R1, right stick, R1, right stick, oh, right stick. So, see that? both together does your grapple with this one here you also have a fold timber trailer with X that puts down your stabilizing legs bam like that now this tractor I guess is a little bit high for it but uh, oh well you see now control group 2 it says support arm 2 now L1 and right stick move the whole middle bunk so, this is useful for doing those longer pieces I said about. And this is useful for doing several types of different shorter pieces. Um, we're going to go like this for right now. We're going to switch back to... And during this one here, when you switch to the tractor instead of the trailer, and it says zero up at the top, you can't move anything. R1, L1, it does nothing but move your camera. That's pretty cool. That makes it great for when you're transporting this thing. You switch to your tractor, and you will not uh, move your arm all over the place or move the trailer all over the place. It's actually quite the neat little thing. I just want to test out this little crane here. Oh, my, mind you, there's the inside view, too, of the tractor. You look back this way and do it. Oh, that's a little heavy. That's a little heavy. This is also a very small trailer, and then it has its own camera view as well. That's the thing here. <laughs> I got a pretty big log going onto a tiny, tiny trailer. Um, and I've got the heavy end, of course, is down there. So what I'll do is this. And I'm probably going to end up... Nah. Depth perception is off. And... I don't mind this little trailer. This little trailer might actually come, uh, might actually come. And you see, if you do this, like I do this stuff here, and I push down so that it's in there, and then I just strap the tension belt. My crane can come up. And... Uh, come on now. Well, well, well. That is a tough little crane right there. If I'd actually realized how small this trailer was, I would have cut these pieces um, a little more accordingly to the trailer did not realize it was as small as it actually is. I knew it was tiny. And cheap, which is great. That's what we're going for. But uh, remember to respectively cut your logs so that they fit your trailer. And now, we're just going to turn that that way. And pull that right up on. And... Mm, Turn the other way, turn a little more. Now this placing like this, this is all just slight touches of L1, R1, L1 and R1 together and moving the right stick. And when I say right stick, I, I literally mean the right side stick. I don't mean just the correct stick. Now, 
We're gonna drop that down like this. Uh, can we go a little more? We can go a little more. Just like this. Unfold or fold them up. Bring our legs in, and now we switch to the tractor. And now this doesn't move. And we can drive it away. Absolutely wonderful little mod, to tell you the truth. This is the first time I've used that little trailer, and I am quite honestly impressed. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this week's episode of Forestry Friday. I hope you enjoyed the little tutorial on the small pieces of equipment again. Um, we now have one bay. It's completely empty out of here. See, look. Oh, oh, I don't want to show you too much over there. One bay is empty. All the little goodies in that one are gone. So next week, it's going to be showing off this one. And if you can't tell in there by that coloring, that is a beastly John Deere. With some sporty, well, some beastly looking tire apparel. So tune in next week for the first appearance of a few John Deere pieces here on Forestry Friday. I hope you all enjoyed. Like, sh subscribe, share if you feel. Somebody could use some information in one of these episodes. Give Bear a little more food. Give him a little pet. Yes, good boy. Alright, everybody. I hope you have a great week. We'll see you next Friday.